wanted to do my best to prop properly. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I hope this is a brand new video. I hope it is. I'm not good at chopping things up So I hope this is a new video. Um, I thought to do what I eat in a day as a pregnant woman <laughs> um, And I thought to do one for each trimester. My hair is just like Dripping because I just washed it. But yeah, I thought to do one for each trimester because You know your eating habits change how you feel you know right now I've been told, it's not 100% accurate, but I've been told I'm about nine and a half weeks pregnant. And yeah, at the moment, my, my sense of smell is really heightened, which means foods that I would really or usually enjoy the smell of, I don't. I'm eating very small portions. I have nausea in the morning. Yeah, I just, I just don't like eating. Like I didn't have a, I didn't have the best relationship with food prior to getting pregnant. So imagine how I feel now. But um, I've been told that this like feeling of not wanting to eat will hopefully end after my first trimester. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yeah, I just, I'm not eating too good at the moment, but I'll try my best to give you a most realistic what I eat as a pregnant woman in my first trimester. Definitely I will give you breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah, I don't know about snacks in between. I don't know, we'll see, because I'll eat something small and I'll be full for the next six hours like literally that is me right now so yeah it's kind of hard to eat snacks in between because when I eat snacks in between then I will eat lunch I will eat dinner and it's just kind of messing me up a lot so um, we'll see we will see but yeah welcome to a day in my life what I eat as a pregnant woman in my first trimester yeah this definitely should be a brand new video definitely so it is oh can't see uh, what time it is 9 38 i haven't had anything yet i just woke up washed my hair because i was supposed to do it last night so i haven't really done anything so we're going to start <laughs> and uh yeah i hope you enjoy so the first thing i like to eat in the morning or like to have in the morning not eat <laughs> drink let's say drink i used to have coffee of course i miss it so much and then in here we have decaf and then obviously sugar and like ginger tea and peppermint tea so now in the morning instead of obviously normal coffee or even decaf because decaf is just not the same i can't it don't make me feel too good so i now have peppermint tea that helps with nausea, it helps with my gut. Even before I was pregnant, when I used to like eat something and you know, I was it was time to go to bed, but my, my stomach felt, you know, unsettled, peppermint tea did the job. So, you know, I'd highly recommend peppermint tea for nausea. So it is 10.35, I am ready for some breakfast. So because I went out yesterday, this is kind of a bit of a fancy breakfast for me because I don't usually have this. So I've got two croissants and some strawberries. Usually I would have instead, because obviously I don't usually have these on hand, but if I just had, for example, just some toast, I'd have like maybe an apple or I'd have some mandarin segments. Another good option would be cereal. So sometimes I have cereal. It's got, um, I believe it's got folic acid in it as well when you have cereal, so that's really good, and obviously the milk. Or you cannot go wrong with some oats. You know, you just add water, not add water, you add milk. It's up to you if you want to add water, but add milk, and then, you know, maybe a bit of sugar or honey, whatever you like. And then also another alternative, which I'd say is more, more of a weekend thing sometimes, eggs. Can't go wrong with eggs, so you know, maybe you want an omelette. My most favorite type of egg is dippy eggs, so soldiers. Apparently there was this thing where you couldn't eat like half cooked eggs, like soldier eggs. You still can't eat raw eggs, like don't crack it into a cup and drink it. Still don't do that, but you can have like dippy eggs, like uh, what sort of a thing, eggs benedict, stuff like that is okay. As long as you have this, British lion sticker thing on it. It's okay to have eggs as long as it's cooked 
to an extent so sometimes i'll have soldiers like on a weekend or something like that but yes today i'm gonna have this and then i'm gonna have some hot chocolate with it so let's make some hot chocolate And here it is, this is my breakfast this morning. It looks very aesthetic, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it looks quite nice. Probably the Morrison's paper bag is, is ruining it, but we don't need to, you know, waste plates if we don't need to. So yeah, got my cream. Ooh, I could dip my strawberries in the cream. <laughs> got my creamy hot chocolate, got my freshly washed strawberries, and then I have my butter croissants. So yeah. What's the time again? 10.44, that is the time. And I'm having breakfast. Just something a bit random. This used to be my gym water bottle, but obviously for obvious reasons, I don't go to the gym anymore. Not right now, not while I'm with child. So this bottle has turned into my like go-to. I take this everywhere, work, church, bed, food shopping, people's houses. Like I tend to like leave it in the car or whatever. Like I always need some sort of access to water. Like I thought I liked water before, but now I'm obsessed with water. Obviously you should like, what's the word? You should mix up what you drink and stuff. You should just drink water, 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 water. But yeah, throughout the day, I am just glugging, glugging, glugging on this. So it's just, you know, handy to have a nice and cute. When your water bottle's cute, it just makes you want to, obviously I love blue. I should have had my blue watch armband on. Yeah, when your water bottle's cute, it makes you want to drink it more. But yeah, I'm just always thirsty throughout the night, throughout the day. I get tired around this time actually. So it's just always good to have water on you. I don't even spend time drinking hot water like I used to because I'm too stuck on this, just like drinking normal water. So just in between when I'm not eating or sometimes when i am eating i will carry my handy little water bottle so i just wanted to put that in there it's uh 12 15 now so i'm feeling a bit full still so probably won't eat anything till about two ish and if i do and i still feel full i'll just have like a small snack i just i can't have a big lunch because then i won't have dinner and i made pasta last night and I really enjoyed it and I really want to eat it again tonight and I don't want to ruin it by having a big lunch that's just going to completely throw me off so yeah we'll see I'll, I'll see where I am about two-ish I'm going to start my hair now so we'll see where I'm about two-ish and see what I am going to eat it'll probably just be crackers and cheese but as long as I put some in my gob that's that's a, that's a good day for me that's a good day for me anyways <laughs> I best start this. Oh my gosh. And I will, anyways, guys, yeah, I will see you soon. So it is, oh, yes, it is 2 11 or military time, 14 11. And I'm just gonna have a small bowl of cereal. I'm not really that hungry, but I do kind of want milk and add any milk today yet. And I feel like milk is good for my digestive system. So I think I'll have a bit of cereal for lunch. I can have cereal any time of day. No issue, no problem. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. And I'm also thinking to be a bit cheeky and have an ice lolly, which I know is so random, but I've had these for about two or three weeks. I'm, I'm in a bit of a low mood today. So I feel like, you know, this sweet will kind of, I don't know, make me feel a bit better, I guess. And also it's around the time where I feel really tired. So it'll also, I don't know, raise my sugar, <laughs> I guess a little bit, cause I don't know. I'm always feeling tired around this time. So yeah, seems like a good shout. So guys, since I had the cereal and the ice pop, which was so nice, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I haven't had anything to eat. It is now, 5.43, so a quarter to six. 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43, 17.43,
military time and um, tonight dinner is pasta or spaghetti bolognese without the spaghetti. I don't remember what you call this, but pasta basically with bolognese and I add sweet corn because it's always nice to add a bit of veg. I had this last night, well I made this last night and I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say I'm starving, but I could eat. So yeah, and we're going food, we have to go food shopping soon and I don't want to go food shopping on an empty stomach because our weekly budget will double just because I'm hungry. So don't set yourself up to fail and eat before you go food shopping. <laughs> so yeah, oh, that looks very, very nice. And then you can't forget the cheese. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now this might look like a small plate to people, but this is a lot to me. And the only reason why I can eat all this is because I didn't have any like crisps or chocolate in between. Because that's what I tend to do. Eat crisps and chocolate and then I can't eat any dinner. So, there we go. Then we just need a drink. We're gonna go with my favourite alternative to like, you know, alcohol. This nice white pearl, red grape, non-alcoholic, sparkling juice drink no added sugar it's almost done but i have another one and by the way guys i'm not someone who used to drink wine every night <laughs> just that because i don't drink any type of alcohol at all i just quite like to drink this this is tonight's meal so I don't know if I'll have anything else to eat after this like any snacks or anything else because for me this is the best time to have snacks after dinner but yeah I don't know if I will if I do I'll do my best to show it even if it's just like little knickknacks and I don't know whatever because obviously this is supposed to be a whole day but yeah <laughs> we'll see we'll see but this is what I'm eating now at ah, five to six uh, in the evening Spaghetti bolognese, well, not spaghetti. Pasta and bolognese with cheese and uh, some nice red grape, non-alcoholic fizzy drink. Really nice, it's from Morrison's. I highly uh, recommend that you can get other flavors as well, which are really nice, but the red one's my favorite, so yeah. So once I have finished my dinner, I tend to take a folic acid tablet. This is the one our national healthcare system Asked, like this is the one they provided me for free uh, they gave me four bottles of this recently so I've switched from the one I was using from Holland and Barrett which was only folic acid to this one you get 56 tablets and it's vitamin C, D and folic acid and it tells you here how much is of, how much is of each vitamin is uh, in the tablet so this is the one they recommend so I will take this now and I take one of these a day. But they gave me four of these, 56 tablets. Yeah, it's definitely gonna last me the rest of my pregnancy, so <laughs> that's great. Hello guys, it is just about 10 p.m. Maybe one minute to at this point. I don't have my watch, my watch died on me. So yeah, it's probably like, let's just say it's 10 p.m. now. So I went food shopping and came back. I basically, the only thing I ate was like three little blocks of chocolate from like a, a dairy milk bar. And that is it. Had my water, brushed my teeth, and I am ready for bed because I am tired. As you can see, I only got half my hair done. But you know, tomorrow's Saturday, so I can finish it then, you know, or Sunday, depending on how it goes. But yeah, that's it, that's it. That is a day in, I keep wanting to say a day in the life. That is what I've eaten in a day as a pregnant woman in her first trimester. I'll definitely do it again in my second trimester, maybe somewhere in the middle. And then once again in my third and final trimester. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely put down in the comments, like if, if you are pregnant, what you like to eat, some of your favorite foods and snacks and, you know, what helps you when it comes to nausea? Do you get morning sickness? I don't get morning sickness. I just get 
nausea thank god um <laughs> yeah i don't know how i'd be able to handle morning sickness yeah no it was it was good doing this i enjoyed sharing my different foods with you looking forward to doing it again i just wanted to come and end off this video i just didn't want to be like mm, and just leave it here i wanted to do my best to prop properly i'm tired i'm tired anyway just do my best to properly finish off the video anyways guys thank you for watching <laughs> thank you for watching and i will see you on my next video bye mm -hmm.